Okay, howdy. I'm not uh, not very good at this. I'm very new at this. I believe this will be the first woodworking related video I've ever done. So bear with me. Um, these are a couple of hand tools that I purchased recently. Um, been waiting about a month for them to show up. Um, this is the Luban um, bronze low angle block plane and um, and spoke shave, or at least that's what I hope is in the box. So here goes. It's certainly well packaged. And this was ordered straight from China through uh, Alibaba. And these are, um, this is the same manufacturer as builds Wood River's hand planes. And I have several of those and I've been very happy with them. I say several, I actually have two. Um, I guess I shouldn't say several. Um, they certainly didn't uh, didn't want anybody opening this until its final destination. I haven't been able to find any uh, any substantive reviews on these in the U.S. Um, they are sold by Workshop Heaven in the U.K. and they're sold uh, really pretty widely around the world. But I understand that the deal that the manufacturer has with Wood River precludes them from being able to be sold in the United States. Um, so that's an exclusivity deal. But I'm not sure how Alibaba gets around that. But it seems that they do. So let's see what we got in here. Those are um, empty packing tape rolls <laughs> that they use for extra packing material. Uh, I guess whatever works. There's Luban uh, Authenticity and Humanity Spokeshave Plane. Ductile iron, bronze base and lever cap, lightly finished wood handle, high carbon tool blade, 25 degree bed angle or blade angle and eighth inch thick. Okay. We'll start here. So I do not have um, much experience with uh, spoke shaves at all. The only one that I have is this ultra, ultra cheap, what is this, Draper? Um, and I have spent a lot of time tuning it up, flattening things, trying to get it to work decently, but that's about the, uh, the tightest mouth I've been able to get on it, so it's definitely a rough tool. So, this one is... As far as I can tell, it's pretty much a clone of the Brian Boggs spoke shave that Lee Nielsen sells. And seems like these are pretty well cloned from Lee Nielsen products, which of course were cloned from Stanley products. So um, well, I'll just leave that there. There, plastic bag that it's in. Um, very, very tightly packaged. Can't imagine there'd be any damage from that. This is supposed to have a Babinga handle like all of the Wood River planes do. Um, yeah. 
bronze body. And there it is. Uh, there's a little nick over here. I don't know if you can capture that there. Um, the handles are not terribly well lined up. So I'd do better if I had some better light on this. Hopefully that doesn't cast any terrible shadows. Um, not terribly well lined up with the bronze. Um, but... I suspect that won't affect how it works. Seem to be tightly held together. And pretty nice knurling. In fact, um, easier to grip than the knurling on the Wood River Plains, which is much more fine. Um, same Babinga handles looks like. There's that, and set that aside and open up the other one. This one, I um, I have a block plane that I bought at Lowe's, if I remember correctly, many, many years ago. And I've done a lot of work to it. Um, but it's a Stanley, just basic, I think it cost $32. Um, standard angle, not a low angle plane. But it's it's done pretty much everything I've ever asked it to. It doesn't do all that well in end grain. And it's a bit big and heavy in the hand when you're trying to do just little fine chamfers. So, this one is supposed to be pretty, pretty close to a clone of the Lee Nielsen bronze low angle block plane, which I've admired for a long time. Just never been able to spend the money on it. Um, by the way, I think this one was $46. That's a nice thick blade. Um, and I believe this one was about 70. There again in the plastic bag, lots of bubble wrap. There's, there's a sticker here. Lorna Jane, zero, zero, zero. Uh -huh. And there is the Luban bronze block plane. Again, very thick blade on that. Um, very comfortable in the hand. The steel pin there sits just ever so slightly proud. Yeah, nah, not really. You can just feel it because it's a different kind of metal. Um, casting's a little bit rough right here for sure. If you can see that there. sole looks very smooth. We'll see in a little bit here how flat it is. Fits the hand very well. Um, there's the adjustment or the, excuse me, lockdown wheel there. Again, very nice knurling on that. Wind that back a bit. That glides pretty smoothly. And looks like we gotta do a little more to get it out of there. Underside is hmm, certainly not lapped, but then again, only the leading edge will touch the blade anyway. There's the blade that is coated in. Um, Cosmoline. Just get 
that off of there real quick. And the uh, the bronze parts are not coated in Cosmoly. I guess they don't have to worry about those rusting anyway. Looks like there is a little bit down there on the bed. A little bit back here on the adjustment mechanism. Again, very nice knurling. It's got a nice tactile feel to it on that knob coffin shaped so won't be any good on a uh, shooting plane uh, that leading edge looks like it may be a little bit rounded that should be fine i don't think that'll affect its performance at all it's not around the mouth it's got a whole bunch of slots in the back looks like there are two registration points back here to move that forward and back Slide that back in. <laughs> Definitely not used to working to a camera, so forgive me if I'm not giving you the best angles here. This is, I really just wanted to show these because I, I haven't been able to find any local information about them at all. Um, at US, anyway. Um, certainly some in Great Britain, Australia. Um, but not around here. Let's see where that comes out to. Uh, I'm gonna have to loosen that a bit. And I may have to move that forward another notch on the blade. Although you wouldn't think so because you would think it would be designed so that the first notch would be the one you want to grab, but I may have grabbed I may have grabbed the first notch and not the second notch with the second spot there. Yeah, that feels better. Slide that under the bar and tighten that back up again. Definitely a projection now. Now this one is adjusted just by moving the blade side to side with the hand or with a hammer. There's no adjustment mechanism. This isn't a Norris style like on uh, Veritas planes or the Stanley Sweetheart planes, um, which this one actually is, well, it's not Norris, but it has an adjustment mechanism, which I found actually works quite well. I've never had any complaints about it, but. Pretty tight mouth opening. I don't know how well I can show that. Oh, let's show it. That's in the camera. Well, since this was just an unboxing, I'll go ahead and take the blade out of this one and take a look at it as well. Don't want to make this a real long video. I'll do a little bit deeper on each one individually. I'm just cleaning that Cosmoline off. Again, very substantial blade there. Um, in comparison, this Draper, the blade is probably half the thickness. Should have brought my calipers in, maybe a little more than half the thickness. No, I think right about half the thickness. That blade has a bit of a corner here that's um, well, dented, nicked. But the cutting edge looks nice and straight. straight. Oh, 
there goes one of the knobs. And that one I'll show you next to my Stanley blade, which is just the blade that came with my Stanley plane. That didn't seem to let go. That's funny, I didn't know that was a problem pulling out. There it goes. substantial difference should make that blade a lot easier to register on a honing stone uh, looks like this one's got a little bit of a teeny tiny nick there not sure if it will focus on that but of course we weren't expecting to be able to use it out of the box and it is dead square as well I've never had one with this type of wheel adjuster before, so from what I understand, it should be um, just barely finger tight, not, not tightened down all the way at all. And change the angle there. That projection's pretty even. Set that aside. Set that aside, set this aside, and this. Take this apart the rest of the way. So there's that other knurled locking wheel, knob, screw, etc. Oh. Now, I don't know if that's straight off the machining or if you'll be able to see that really better if I clean the stuff off there but that is very 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 smooth I don't think I'll have any complaints about that at all and that's definitely off of the uh, off of the machining not off the casting that's that's been machined flat of course that's been casted uh cast but that surface is machined that surface is machined Clean this up here and that appears to have a bunch of undulation in the surface but it doesn't uh, add all to the feel and this is the flat bottom spoke shave You can see the sanding marks on the uh, on the knobs or handles. But won't affect the performance at all. So put that back together. Now this will show you just how inexperienced I am with spoke shaved because I had to look at that and go, does that bevel go down or does that bevel go up? Because I'm not sure. Um, so there's an idea of how inexperienced I am with spoke shaves. And that one is supposed to be adjusted with a hammer, although I've seen a lot of people who just tap it on the bench on the corner that they want it to project more. And that definitely works. Oh, yes, very light top. And back, and back. Yeah. So, there it is. Luban 
block plane and Luban spoke shave. Just arrived straight from China. Okay, that'll be it for right now.